Hi, uh, this is Joe Malinchak and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at uh, how I find the correct motor for my micro model aircraft. Uh, but first, if you would like to see more content like this, please like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, uh, I have several people who read my uh, micro flying column that I write for Model Aviation Magazine ask me, uh, how do I find the correct motor for my micro models? Uh, well, the first thing I do is normally search RC groups or uh, other content online and see what others have been doing. Uh, and if I can't find the uh, the same uh, type of motor for the model I'm building, uh, then you have to do some testing. So how, I, how do I do that? Well, I have this little test stand in front of me. It is made out of some light plywood, and it just pivots in the center. And we mount the uh, motor and... Uh, receiver on top of that you can see I have a little receiver on there and I use a my way scale and everything is measured in grams and once I have that on there we can power it up and I can measure the amount of grams of thrust uh, I could also measure the current, how much current uh, it is uh, draining, and uh, I can measure the approximate time of run, uh, all these things. So uh, what I have on there now is just a little 4 millimeter uh, motor like this. It's basically off a little quadcopter, and uh, yeah, I'm just testing to see how many uh, grams of thrust I'm getting out of it, and you can see I am getting about uh, 2.8, almost 3 grams of thrust. Uh, now, one thing, I could use a power source to power this motor and just plug that right in. However, I'm using the exact battery, receiver, uh, prop, everything that I want to use on the aircraft because that's going to give me the uh, actual thrust that I, I should obtain in the airplane. Now, when the airplane's flying, there's less drag and even more efficient, so the, the motor may... Uh, may run better and last longer, but this gives you a general idea of uh, how much power I need for my model. Uh, so basically, this uh, little Corsair here weighs uh, 5 grams ready to fly. So if I was getting 3 grams of thrust, the model would fly. Uh, obviously, more power is better, uh, but uh, yeah, if I'm getting uh, 3 grams of thrust on a 5 gram model, that, that's pretty good. The motor that's actually in this is a little tiny brushless motor from Stefan Gasparin from years ago. And this motor actually puts out almost 5 grams of thrust. So this airplane has tremendous power. Um, but more power is always better, but you have to consider the uh, weight of the model and uh, how much time and the uh, the battery that you're using, the efficiency of the battery. So uh, everybody, uh, I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video. And again, uh, if you'd like to see uh, more videos like this, uh, please like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.